Daisy Award was created by the Barnes family out in California, and they lost their son Patrick from ITP, which is an autoimmune disease. When the Barnes son Patrick was in the hospital, he was having trouble at the end of his illness with his appetite, and his father one day brought in some Cinnabon cinnamon rolls and he found that the Cinnabon cinnamon rolls um, were delicious, helped him to eat and maintain his sustenance, and he asked his father to bring them the following day. Um, the caveat with that was that he brought them for the nurses as well. And so the Cinnabon and the cinnamon from the Cinnabon came to symbolize um, nursing, nursing excellence and caring, and the Daisy Award started in 1999 and it is now in 1200 hospitals actually around the world so it's become a, an international recognition uh, for nurses and we have just started participating in the last six months doing a monthly recognition along with the professional development council who actually owns this process and this program for us the professional development council was drawn to the flexibility of the daisy award um, on both the nomination and recipient side we have had nominations from nurse colleagues, physician colleagues, families, other departments, and the recipients to date have included an entire unit, single nurses in the ambulatory care and in the inpatient setting. A very simple process, uh, and they just write a little bit of a, a narrative on why they're nominating this particular nurse and explain the situation, um, what experience that they had with that nurse, and why they feel like this nurse is worthy of this recognition and then that nomination then goes to a subcommittee. Each month a recipient is chosen. The chief nursing officer, Linda Von Rhein, goes to the unit along with the DAISY team and hopefully surprises the nurse and presents the DAISY award in their unit. I think it's important to have nurses recognized in such a tangible way because the, there's not often that opportunity to do that. Uh, I think that nurses do extraordinary work in their care of patients and families every single day and it's often um, a little bit under the radar of most people. So it's hard to miss us. We come in with a big green banner which stays on their unit for the entire month and uh, there's a whole gaggle of us that come on the unit together so with cinnamon rolls and coffee and all manner of things. When Linda and the team present the Daisy Award um, we bring a, um, a bag of accoutrements with us and uh, included is a pin for the recipient in the shape of a daisy, a container of cinnamon. Um, that's my favorite piece of it. The cinnamon symbolizes angel dust for nurses. Recipients also receive a sculpture called the Healer's Touch. The sculpture is made by artisans in Zimbabwe. Uh, the Shona tribe, and it is a beautiful um, symbol of nursing, healing, and excellence, and that part of the presentation is where folks generally start to cry. And so when we are honoring each other and folks are, uh, are receiving um, the Daisy Award, it's really amazing to see people open up and, uh, and express their gratitude to one another. This is a really public recognition for nursing um, and the impact that they clearly have on patients, families. And our first DAISY recipient was actually Kim Sleeper in pediatric hematology oncology. And she was nominated by a mom um, whose son Joseph was taken care of by Kim for several years. Um, and she noted all the details and the ways that Kim had made an unbearable experience much more bearable um, to the point where Joseph actually began calling DH Kim's house. Um, we're going to Kim's house and so clearly made an impact there and then uh, years later actually mom was unfortunately diagnosed with cancer as well and so of course was anxious about the treatment process and Joseph actually helped calm her fears by telling her don't worry we're going to Kim's house mom everything's going to be fine and sure enough it was and Kim even though that was not her unit or her practice area took the time to go and visit with mom as she had done for so many years with Joseph. Dartmouth Hitchcock at present is um, embarking on a culture of caring and I think that the Daisy Award really epitomizes that culture of caring. It's Part of the reason that it's working well also is that the nursing philosophy and the nursing mission for DH is to create an environment where patients and families can heal and so that 
was actually developed 20 years ago. Um, and we know that nurses live and breathe that every day. In addition to our nurses coming to work in a very complex and harried environment on a daily basis and providing a high level of uh, acute care, they also provide a high level of compassionate care. And this provides us with the opportunity to demonstrate how that supports our mission. Through this DAISY Award, it really gives us, again, a tangible way to demonstrate how people view nurses, whether it's a physician or other colleague nominating a nurse to say, this is why I think this nurse is deserving of this recognition, or it's a patient and family who maybe a month later, several years later, still can recall the specific details of the impact that nursing care had at DH on their own patient um, and family situation. And so within that, it fits within the image of nursing um, and within structural empowerment for magnet designation.